Hello friends, uh, today is my 23rd presentation on another subject of how to do budgeting in the construction industry. Uh, this will cover uh, introduction or preamble and performing 9 activities for making a robust budget such as constitution of a con cross functional team, capturing the key assumptions, capturing the corporate level key budget parameters uh, that is targets, uh, making budgets for the design of architecture interior and MVP functions, budget for the common cost elements such as uh, we service both new and existing projects, uh, review functional budgets, post review but suggest amendments to be carried out in the functional budgets, submit the revised budget to the corporate budget team and approval of the functional budget along with this uh, corporate budget coordinator and the HOD of the each function. Activities, activity that may get performed unethically. So these are the nine activities plus one additional uh, point of activities that may uh, performed unethically. Now very frankly these activities which have to be performed are common uh, for making budget in any uh, any function for that matter or for even in any industry. Only one activity which is activity number four that will be unique for each of the function and each of the industry. But today's focus is primarily on the making of the budget for the design of architecture, interior and MEP functions in line with my book. Uh, preamble or introduction for, me, um, for the budgeting construction industry. Uh, budgeting, purpose of budgeting is to enable creation of financial and non-financial plans for various functions for a specific period, uh, future period. Nine activities are proposed to be performed to make the budget robust. Eight activities out of nine identified in this presentation are identical for each function like design, construction, quality control, contract, purchase, sales, marketing, etc. And as I already shared, the today's fun focus will be primarily on the three design functions. Now this budgeting should be preferably done separately with service each of the project uh, that is residential, or commercial, and hospitality and other significant building categories relevant to the organization. User in each uh, respective function can Similarly, evolve budget parameters directly. Now, activity number one, forming of the constitution of the cross-functional team. Now, this this usually this should be done by the CEO or the MD of the company to uh, to make a CFT of different functions. Now, the purpose role of CFT will be following: the, uh, deciding the format and contents of the budget at the respective function level frequency like annual or six monthly at which respective functional budget must be prepared and reviewed and released to the identified designers timely nice by which the budget must be released design teams coordination uh, coordinator for making and releasing the respective functional budgets receipts recipients of the respective functional teams budget periodicity for reviewing the respective functional budget now while i am talking about this design design function here uh, this activity is common so their design word will get constituted will substituted by the respective function activity number two capturing the key assumptions uh, key uh, key assumptions now few aspects which are listed below are applicable to all the functions that is uh, the impact of uh, competition or economy or political or social uh, or government policies and the customer demands on the on the uh, on the performance of the function and which will affect the budget now separate sheet to be prepared for uh, each of the above parameters i remember that for each of this uh, aspect like competition economy political number of pages they will get uh, prepared if these are prepared by the cross functional team now important uh, uh, third part third activity is very important capture the corporate level key budget parameters at the top level, at the uh, MD or CEO level, usually what is decided at the top level is the, for example, the sales revenue targets, uh, which may be local currency or the foreign exchange, project cost related uh, targets like local currency and foreign exchange, profitability in the local currency and foreign currency terms related, uh, related to the targets, vis a -vis the existing construction projects as also the new construction projects which are in the pipeline. <coughs> and project delivery timeline, these are the top level parameters which in which the top management is interested. Uh, activity number four is making the budget for design of architecture, interior and MB function. And uh, as I was mentioning, this will be different for each of the functions and each of the industries. Now, 
uh, in the context of the construction industry and design function let's talk about the new construction projects what are the budgeting parameters one is plan and timeliness of the accomplishing the key activities that must be there performance targets for developing new designs and commercial design rollout plans with service different stages of designs estimated consultancy fees and expense estimates project cost implication of the union budget of central government and state legislation for functions other than design appropriate budgeting parameters will be identified for functions then <coughs> yeah that's continued um continuing this uh, activity number 4 for the new construction projects budget at the granular and granular level will include the following what is the fees payable to the outsourced architect architectural designers within the country and overseas the fees payable to the outsourced interior designers within the country and overseas fees payable to the outsourced mab designers within the country and overseas and cost of acquiring design software for each of the functions vis a vis architecture interior and mab designers so this uh, will be done for uh, each of the uh, three functions that is architecture interior design and mab uh, next will be cost of bop samples uh, materials for evaluating the choices vis a vis each of the functions that is architecture interior and mbb designers cost of the capital equipment like computers servers testing equipment plotters etc cost of other outsourced services like testing and prototype development mock up room rendering building models etc cost of travel and such conveyance local conveyance payable to the outsourced consultants or in house designers and statutory fees for licenses or for the design approvals now these all activities they need to be captured very meticulously charges payable to the local government bodies uh, manpower cost for engaging expatriates specialists for uh, uh, specialty packages and uh, then there are common heads which which uh, need to be uh, uh, taken proportionately that is like fixed cost like permanent employees because they will be common to many of the projects overheads etc like power etc the contingencies for the overrun uh, and the any other element of the project so first was the variable cost which are relevant to the each project each project and second is the fixed cost <coughs> now now we have is the common uh, common cost parameters for the uh, for the existing projects uh, ongoing construction projects within each function now this here we need to note down the what are the changes which are being proposed in the earlier budget timelines for accomplishing the key activities because the budgeting would have been done in the previous period which we previous year or so changes in the earlier budgets for performance targets transition in the earlier estimated consulting fees and expense estimates changes in the earlier project cost uh, that means the most of the most of the uh, granularity parameters they will be only the changes will need to be uh, need to be uh, indicated here similarly the changes in the implication of the union budgets and the central government and the state legislation changes in the <coughs> Uh, uh various granularity level parameters like cost elements and cost to be included in the budget and uh, point number c is cost cost to be included in the budget for corporate finance and accounts for design function here normally they will be including the fixed cost and the cost of uh, for for example uh, procuring funds etc which are the common to across all the uh, uh, budgets the next like activity is activity 6 which is the uh, review of the functional budgets usually done at the 6 month level this is here the focus here is that the hod of each function like architecture or uh, interior or mep uh, he or she will be reviewing the with the team respective team the following parameters like review of the assumptions uh, review of the source resources required from top management to accomplish this budget targets that is the financial uh, resources organizational structure manpower numbers equipment and machines it hardware and software new skills to be acquired and technology upgradation now and the and uh, hod will also review the review of the strategies for accomplishing and functioning the uh, accomplishing the functional performance targets to corporate budgets along with the responsibility and timelines activities 7 8 and 9 they are uh, as mentioned they are also common and post review of the respective budget by the hods now these uh, timelines uh, these any amendments have need to be done in the budget which was prepared by the operating team now once this has been uh, reviewed by the hod now these need to be submitted to the 
corporate budget team for the approval because there is a separate usually a separate corporate budget team. Uh, then approval of the functional budget along with the corporate budget coordinator and the HOD of each function. That is now with the corporate budget coordinator, the HODs the uh, HODs need to agree on the amendments through catch ball process, which is that uh, uh, HOD will suggest something, the corporate coordinator will suggest something, and mutually they agree at some uh, some in between process or parameters or targets. Carrying out the incremental change in the functional budget once the catch ball process has been followed and the final circulation of the corporate level budgets and the functional uh, budgets in the controlled manner in the, for the implementation. Usually in this uh, budget uh, even the CEO or the MD can also participate. In fact they do participate. Now what are the activities that may get performed unethically? Now deliberately uh, keeping loose targets such as project timelines or schedules for completion of the plan and design briefs etc for each package by the teams of the respective architects or interior designer and design functions. Number two, uh, design of architecture team deliberately incorporating incorrect assumption of the BOQ rates uh, particularly of the high value items such as below with service construction because they are responsible for the initial projection of the cost of the uh, uh, project. For example, the rates of the <coughs> Uh, uh, for example, for cement, the rates per bag or RMC rate, cubic uh, RMC rate per cubic feet may be kept on the higher side. Reinforcement rate per metric ton or brick rates per unit may be kept on the higher side. Modular kitchen rate or kitchen kitchen uh, appliances rate per kitchen etc. Particularly with the residential project may be kept on the higher side. <coughs> Internal doors like uh, rate per door, external door uh, for uh, rate per door and door hardware etc may be kept on the higher side and so on so on. This is just a few high value items which contribute to the project cost. Similarly, the interior design team may deliberately incorporate incorrect assumptions such as BOK rates for the high value items for the uh, FE, FFE that is uh, furniture, uh, fixtures and equipment used for in the interior designing uh, like for example lighting fixtures etc or table chairs etc. Uh, <coughs> or kitchen equipment or uh, equipment for the pantry etc. Uh, finishing uh, works like uh, marbles or tiles or interiors, uh, linen etc. Then artwork which may be of different uh, variety, different uh, material. Uh, similarly, MEP design function deliberately incorporating incorrect assumption of the bio creates of high value items uh, such as below for the two packages, let's see electrical and HVAC. For example, the keeping the cables, projecting the cable, uh, uh, rates of cables and conduits and pipes on the higher side, transformers, air circuit breakers or VCBs on the higher side, outdoor units and indoor units for the AC on the higher side. Uh, in time th activity three, uh, the uh, third uh, unethical activity is for example intentionally incorporating false assumptions by the corporate uh, budget coordinator, uh, by the budget coordinator of the functional team. Uh, vis a vis uh, competition projects, economy, political, social, government policies, statutory regulation, customer demands, and implication of the union budget. Now, these if the false assumptions are there, obviously the budget will not get prepared accurately. Knowingly estimating uh, correct, incorrect estimate, uh, knowingly estimating incorrect percentage wastage allowed as usual in the critical BOQ materials like for example steel or cement or RMC which are given to the outsource contractors. Knowingly estimating incorrect uh, SITC which is supply installation testing and commissioning cost payable to the outsource contractors in rupees uh, lump sum or as, as aggregate in rupees per square feet. Now <coughs> this this activity these two in fact these two activities are done in coordination with the uh, materials team and the contract team respectively <coughs> because the inputs are obtained from those teams. Uh, now, architecture, uh, the for examples where such uh, things can be done are in the architecture works, structure, superstructure, external works, facade system, landscape works, land, uh, softscape works, uh, renovation works, etc. Uh, in the interior design, in FFE, finishing uh, works, and artworks, MB works, all uh, 16, 18, 20 kind of packages which are there like external electrical, air conditioning, lifts, STP, firefighting works, and so on. So on. Sixth is consciously making incorrect estimates of design fees and associate expenses for travel, conveyance and out-of-pocket expenses in a lump sum and as aggregated 
rupees or or as executed rupees per square feet of the saleable area or super area as per the policy guidelines for the various packages such as design of architecture design of interior and mvp design consciously making incorrect estimate of the contingency cost consciously making incorrect estimate of the percentage escalation on outsourced contractor scope of work <coughs> uh, willfully making incorrect estimate of the taxes payable uh, manipulating or providing incorrect estimate to the ceo or md such as below vis a vis last year or past year actual accomplishment and um, which is developed design plans and drawing and release timelines project design specifications consultancy fees expense estimate team size organization structure project cost and vehicle cost and hardware and software required undiligently over planning of the following cost vis a vis various functions such as hr organization structure skill acquisition and upgradation uh, function wise technology investments uh, which are made either in local currency or the foreign currency uh, and assets to be acquired uh, their names quantity value and timelines expenses in the local currency and foreign currency both and the reimbursement in local currency and foreign currency both for identified costs <coughs> so there are a couple of other uh, uh, other uh, uh, unethical activities which designers can or the functional teams can add to themselves add themselves to these list and these are just few example which are given now you can refer to chapter 13 and lecture 35b in my handbook for the more details on these aspects covered in my presentation and there is a template which is given for making the budget in this in my book now you can also refer to the website uh, article uh, which is listed here that is uh, developing budgets in the construction industry for design of architecture interior and designing and uh, designing of mvp you can also see some articles in the facebook or the linkedin which are there now this book is now available in uh, uh, kindle format or paperback format in amazon.com and amazon, uh, amazon.in and uh, there are Um, books are also available in physical copies in the sales outlet uh, in Delhi and Jaipur thank you